Now, how do you create a curve in Illustrator? If I click on the pen tool and go click, let go, move, click, return, I have a straight line. But suppose I want a curve. Well, this is where you click and drag, and you have to be very careful here. So if I click and drag, the direction I drag in will indicate the shape of the curve, and the length I drag will indicate the depth of the curve. You can always change this afterward, it's not a problem. So if I let go now, you see the curve has gone along in the direction I drag. So I dragged up to about two o'clock. And if I let go, move down, click and drag, press return. And now I can switch to the white arrow tool. And now each anchor point has a pair of handles. And they act like a seesaw. So I can click and drag on each handle. You can see I can move it in to make it shallower, move it out to make it deeper. This handle here is for this half of the curve. And this handle here is for this half of the curve. So let's delete all that. And let's create a simple shape. We're going to do a sine wave. And a sine wave is something like that. So I'll click on the pen tool. Now what I need to do first, actually, let's write this out so you can see what's going on. I need an anchor point and I need to drag in the direction that I want the curve to follow. I need an anchor point there and I drag along there. Or how many anchor points I need. You need an anchor point where the curve changes direction. So how does it work? So I'll click on the pen tool. One, click and drag up to about two o'clock. Let go. Move along. Click and drag. Let go. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get the same distance and the same dragging distance as well. And this will give me the same peak and troughs. But it doesn't have to be, I'll press return, click on the white arrow tool. It doesn't have to be exact because I can click here. Now I can take my time, get a cup of tea, do what I want. But here now you see I can now specify and get exactly the right distance and indeed now if I go to the view menu and go down to show grid and I'll also go to view menu and snap to grid so now I can snap snap see I'm going two large squares along and what you do is you don't drag the path itself you drag the handles so I'm going to drag the handles, and when you, it's easy to miss, unfortunately. So click and drag. There you go, snap to there. If I drag them to the same place, and all I'm doing is clicking on the anchor point so the handles come back. If I drag them to the same place, I will get the same distance. So I will get the same change. And so I will get a perfectly regular, there you go, bingo. Click on the black arrow tool, click off, and now I have a perfectly regular curve. But just remember, each anchor point in this example has two handles. Oh, that didn't go all the way. And they act as a seesaw. They are connected to each other. So when one moves, the other moves as well. But this is how you can create a simple curved shape.